What's up guys, it's back here, and we are jumping back into some more modded Slay the Spire Downfall. Last time, we uh, took a chance with the Guardian, and did not succeed. Um, didn't get past the first floor, actually. Just a little, a little more learning needed uh, with this boy. But this time, we're going to go be going in with the Hexa Ghost. Um, the Hexa Ghost 70 HP 99 Souls. And a cursed spirit of the spire, sealed to an eternal fate as a protector. Spirit brand, the first time you ignite a ghost flame, each turn gain six block. And yeah, here we go. I thought there'd be more to say, but there wasn't. Uh, this time at the top, let's go ahead and uh, go through the deck like I forgot to do last time. Four strikes and four defends. Uh, we have Seer. Don't mind the dog getting into his chair. Um, soul burn, which is the effect, so apply a nine of it. After three turns, a soul burn enemy loses HP, removing the soul burn. So like a a more uh, long term poison. So it takes three turns to go, but you can accumulate it, uh, accumulate it for big damage. Uh, float. It is ethereal, so it will exhaust if left in the hand. Uh, activate the next ghost flame. If it's ignited, extinguish it. Uh, draw a card and then advance. Oh wait, that was the, uh, so this is draw a card and then adv advance. My bad. Um, yeah. So, we will figure out what all that means. Like last time, we're just gonna go, next three enemies run in terror. Okay, let's see. I don't know, there's a, a pretty good, okay, there's only one elite, um, so we kind of want to go for them. Besides that, what's going to be good? Uh, three runs. So actually, we want to go... We almost can guarantee it here. But I think I want to go this one. We, we might get the runaway for the elite. Which would be nice. Then... Shop rest. Enemy rest. Question mark rest. And then we'll either go another shop or another question mark. That's really good. We get a lot of... A lot of value at our rest sites. Uh, so we want to recall early then. We're going to want to break this key if possible. So hello. Please run away. And we got a lot going on here that we'll have to talk about in our first real fight. Uh, stoke the fire. Gain five block. For each ignited ghost flame, upgrade a random card in your hand. Okay. Uh, Reign of embers. Uh, deal five damage and apply five soul burn to an enemy. Uh, X times, if X is more than three, apply one weak and one vulnerability to all enemies. Okay. Phantom Cloak, Ethereal. Gain two decks and lose one strength. Hmm. What's the upgrade? Three decks. It's not bad. Uh, I don't know what I want to get there. I think I'm going to go Reign of Embers because the sound... does the What's the upgrade though? Is it plus one? It is not plus one, which is not... As good. If it was X plus one, I'd be more happy. Do I have it? X, yeah, if it was X, yeah, X plus one times. I still think I'll go for it though and try it. Okay. Yes, please run away. Thank you. Okay. Haunting Echoes, eight damage. If the activated ghost from his ignited force ignite it, um, trigger the ignition effect described in the ghost lane. Even if it's already ignited. So you can get another effect of it. I have to see that. Uh, ignited deal. Gain one energy. Deal. 11 damage. Living bow. Apply five soul burn the next time the target soul burn damage. It affects all enemies. I like that. And then it won't exhaust. I like the living. That's kind of nice. Okay. Uh, gain 100 souls or remove a card from our deck. Go ahead and remove a card. We will remove... A basic strike. Okay, another question mark. Come on. Oh, yes. Perfect. Uh, received a distorted energy uh, injury. I'm good. I think ignore it. All right. So we got these guys to leave. Bye-bye. So, really good for us. We get the souls. We get the art of war. And we get the emerald key and the card. Rewind. Retract previous ghost lane if it's ignited extinguish it and gain one energy and draw a card mm, not really super interested yet 
apply soul burn. After soul burn detonates this turn, apply 12 soul burn. Like that. Go slash. Yeah, I think we're going kind of like soul burn build. Then we wanted to go here. Boop, boop. Boop, boop, yeah. Get this slimy hat. Maximum card uh, hand size is increased by two. All right, shopkeep, how you doing? Um, I could just go ahead. The problem with this one is while it's really good, um, even if I apply it for three, it's only one week in one rollable. It really needs to be upgraded to, like, make it useful for the next turn because it's going to cost all my energy. Uh, if you don't play any attacks, uh, that's an attack. Um, float, draw a card. All right, so here's our. So here's all our flames. Um, as you can see, we have searing, crushing, searing, bolstering, searing, inferno. Uh, so activates when plays two attack. When ignited, uh, apply four soul burn to a random enemy. So I want to play two attacks, kind of. So if I do that strike, and then what I'll do is I'll do rain of embers. So there's my two attacks. Adds four more, and then I think if I float, it goes to the next one, and this one's lit. So that's kind of what you want to do. So two skills, it deals four damage twice to it anyway. Okay, and that's all we have right there. Okay, so two skills. So here's our two skills, and then we will sear him for that much. And I think at the end of the turn, it will move on its own. It does. So, activate when two attacks applied, so. Okay, so the attacks always stay at the top, the conditions, at least. Uh, so we'll just living bomb for no reason. Well, just to add more ghost flame. We cannot do the two attacks, so we'll play one. Defend, defend. Okay. He stole our, who's my, what's it? So we want to play heat metal. I don't think we will get it again. We want to float. Okay, so this one's um, when a power is played. We have no powers. I don't think we will get any more soul burn out. So I think I just want to hit him. I don't think it'll go off when he leaves. Let's play it, play it. Yeah, the soul burn doesn't actually affect him once he leaves. Okay, spectral whale, afterlife, ethereal, eight damage all enemies. So after like, if this card is exhausted, its effect is activated. Okay. So eight damage to all enemies or let it exhaust and then just eight damage to all enemies too. Ethereal, when, it, when you play an ethereal card, deal six damage to a random enemy. Okay. Whenever you advance, gain two block, three block. Mm -hmm. The only one that's kind of interesting is speed running, but I don't think any, any of these are going into the um, into the build we are doing, which is the soul burn build. So I think we'll skip. Okay, first seal. Move combat, uh, heal seven HP seals. Can't be upgraded if all six seals haven't played this combat, obtain the broken seal and remove the seals from your deck. Okay, it's kinda cool. We've seen rewind, fast forward. Force ignite the active gold flame and advanced. Okay. If the enemy has soul burn, gain five block. It's not bad. Ten. Okay. And deal four damage and apply four soul burn to an enemy three times. I like that one a lot. Can I get this and this? I can't. Uh, but this one's... So it would be 12, but it's random enemies. Huh. I think I still want incineration. First seal seems cool. Um... But it's only one. What's it upgraded? Oh, it can't be upgraded. I really want to see what they all do, but I don't know if we all even see them all. Mm. No attacks are played. I think we'll go incineration. As cool as this is, I don't think it's the, the time to try it. All right, we don't have enough to break keys, but we do have enough to upgrade. Reign of Embers is what we want to get the two vulnerability in two week, so we can really take advantage of it the next turn. Okay, next fight. Heat metal, strike, strike, and then we float. All right, so we want to play two defends. Defend, defend. Oh, I could have used a living bomb instead of another defend to get
get more, um, get a little bit more damage out with Rain of Embers. That's fine. Don't think we'll need it. Okay, incineration. I wish there was a way to, um, like, activate the soul burn. Well, there it went, so we didn't take anything. But, like, to force it to activate would be really good. Step through, she can activate ghost of ignited. Advance, if not, ignite it. Seems pretty good. Uh, if you can do another step of damage. And another rain of embers. Which still seems pretty good, but they don't synergize well with each other. So I don't think I want more than one. Uh, I think the step through could help us get past that power one. Which I think we won't be able to unless we do this. Four dimes. And which is this one? Uh, detonate this. Detonate 18 to 6 and 2. And this one was just 9 damage. That's all it gets. Yeah. And Living Bomb does not exhaust. That's what I want. Because this will help um, on longer term, like, yeah, fights like this. So what I want to do is... I really wanted to block, but... Let's do that first. Living Bomb. Okay, do this. And then... Do, 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 do. do that. And I really want to block, but I cannot. Could try to kill. Oh, no, this is just random. We'll go for it. And then we'll just random members for nothing. Take five here. Okay, and then I just really want to block. My question is if I kill this one, what happens? Should I could have done another block, save a little bit more HP. But like, he should die at the end of this turn. Which I think kills all of them, right? I really just want to defend. And then we'll step through. And then if we end, this one should blow They all blow up for 19. That wasn't a good uh, test of what we were trying to test. Um, we've seen struck, stoke the fires. Second, like choose an attack or skill to exhaust. Random. On the opposite side to your hand. Eh. It's not ignited. Game one energy and 10 block. Is not ignited. Let's upgrade to one. No. Eh, I don't think I need it. Go here, Smith again. What do you do? Or do we choose to retract or advance? Okay. I think I'm just enjoying like continuing to upgrade um, the cards we have right now. And I don't think we have enough money to warrant, warrant going to the shop, so I think we will go to the question mark. Ooh, lose seven, gain first seal. That's the healing one. Gain eight additional souls. That's second. Third. Additional card or more. Fourth. Potion roy. These aren't the best. I don't want to lose Rain of Ember, so I'm not going to go third. Uh, the healing one's the only one that seems good in this situation. We'll do the first seal. Oh, I should have read that for you. My bad. Because I think that's the only one that seems interesting to me. Living bomb. We're going to float. Incinerate's fine. And then we'll step through. Okay, so we activated and continue. Uh, I want two. Oh, two attacks. I don't really act I already have that done, I think. Right? Oh, no, I don't. Do not activate it. Uh, attack. And then we will see her. Problem is, I think when I continue, when he splits, yeah, he doesn't have the soul burn anymore. Let's play the seal. Oh, that play, that's a power for this too, anyway, so kind of nice. Seer, defend. Okay. Maybe play two attacks. What if I just float through? We get to this one, which is just after spending three energy. So. One, activate. Uh, let's do this one. It'll activate it, and it activates the final thing. The intensify, and then it restarts the... Extinguishes them all and restarts. Pretty cool. And it gives us a bunch of energy back. Um, ethereal, force ignite the active ghost flame, and advance. But fire starter, seven and se five and seven, that's pretty good. 
Got the Soul Flame build going. Okay. Fire starter. Tag and we'll defend here. So we get the the spirit brand for igniting it. And then we finished it off. Like we can have it to advance to the next one. Okay. Let's go ahead and play this to get it out of our hand. Um hmm. I don't have a lot of defense here. Yeah, actually I have mostly attacks here. Uh step through. That gives us the defense from the spear brand for igniting it. And then I will, I'll just defend just to get the most block that I can get here. Okay, Seer. Heat Metal. Strike. Float. And then will this Living Bomb continue to add the Soul Burn to you? 27 there, not bad. We are taking a lot of damage here though. Ironclad hits pretty hard. Okay, I want to play a power, which I don't have, so I need to be able to step through it. So let's just apply some soul burn to you. Soul burn. Soul burn. Okay, we're up to 26. Okay, oh, this is this is the turn that really hurts. But I think we have enough to be... Okay. I really want to advance here. Play. I don't really want to play two attacks. I want to defend. Well, I'll get both. I'll play this to ignite and go to the next one. And then I will play both the defense. And now we're on this one, which is just play three energy, so we should be able to get it. Mm, do I want the weakness here? Be kind of nice. Because the weakness will block us. We'll get six from this. I think it's better than most of the stuff in our hand currently, so let's do that. And then we'll get the hell flames here, which hits a bunch. And he's weakened and vulnerable for next turn. So, that was pretty good, I think. Yeah, he's down to 19. I think we will get through this one. Might take a couple a couple turns, but... Um, I want to float to draw a card. I'm hoping for a defend, and there we go. Yeah, he's dead if we can just survive for like three turns. Heat metal. Defend. Alright, this is his last turn. We just have to survive through it. Um, oh, 40 damage. Are you serious? That really sucks. Oh wait, he dies at the end of the turn though. I think. Didn't matter. So, the damage just killed him. Okay. Searing wounds, all, all enemies lose HP equal to their soul burn. Uh, yeah. Was it to go to zero? It doesn't exhaust. That's probably it. Game one intensity, uh, soul burn. Increases the amount of damage so we're in block applied by ghost flames when they're ignited. Pretty good, not for this deck. Ethereal at the start of your turn, apply five silver to all the That's also really good. Seven silver. I think searing wounds is more what we want though. We're, we're more like heavy handed on the amount of soul burn we're playing. Cracked hourglass. Gain one energy at the start of each of your turn. If a battle takes more than three minutes, you die. I cannot say that I won't take three minutes. I'm pretty slow. Less card rewards are no longer Smith. Mm. I think the energy and less card rewards are going to be better for us. I think we have enough to like kind of keep going with what we have. Alright. Lots of shops again. And only one elite. Huh. Okay. So what do I want? Here's some question marks here. To shop. This one has a rest. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of weirdness here. Um, three question mark rest. And then we'll go reward. Shop to fight here. Then either if we need to break keys, maybe go to this one. If not, we'll go question mark. Boom boom. Elite. It's not my favorite path, but. It'll be okay, I think. Let's go ahead and break the ruby key for the strength. And break the em emerald for the decks. So we got those broken. Then we will smith the searing wound. Okay. Let's go. Hello, Parasite. I think I have some fun things for you. Uh, we'll heal at the end of this. Uh, okay, do that. Hit him with the strike, searing wound. So this should just do 14 to him. Yeah, through block too, which is kind of nice. 
Ow. Sorry, I couldn't block. I need to get some block cards, I think. Might also help. Um, and we activated that, so I want to float to go to the next one. Then I want to step through to finish it. Yep. And then two defense. Keeps us blocked. All right. Uh, trying to think what I want to do. Heat metal. Strike. Defend. Reign of Embers. Down to six. Take six more here. We are getting hit pretty hard. Seven. Heat metal. Float. Searing wounds. You're dead. Energy potion, I think, is better than Blessing of the Forest for this. Nightmare guys. Uh, it's for an ethereal deck, which we are not playing currently. All right. Hello, peoples. Equal to their soul burn. Okay. So we won't hit you a little bit. Let's go ahead and float to the next one. Defend, defend. And then we'll do the damage. We didn't get to play Searing Wound, but I'm okay with that right now. We didn't really have a lot of soul burn on them. Um, I'm kind of okay with this Reign of Embers here. Because it'll give a lot of block and weakness and vulnerability to them that we can take advantage of next turn. Okay. Living Bomb. It affects all enemies. First heal to heal up a little bit. Um, Strike on you, I guess. Gain the six, step through, and then strike again. Because you're close to dying. Yep, and then she took that soul burn and damage now. You have 12 on you. Um, do this. Let's go ahead and play this and this. And then we will rain of members here. Okay. We kind of just need the... I don't remember the name of the card. The rare card, yeah. Oh, he's dead anyway. So we just want to stack up the soul burn and damage. She'll be dead in a couple turns. Oh, actually, she's not. Searing Wounds is the card I was thinking of, by the way. Searing Wounds, you're dead. I think that card was very good for us. Okay. Let's see. I'm thinking you're going to survive longer. So I'll Living Bomb this one to kind of go ahead and um, get, the, uh, get the advantage off of applying it to the next one because I think we're going to kill him first. We're going to take some damage here, which kind of sucks, but it's all good. First seal is pretty good here. Lots of defense. And we'll go ahead and strike you. All right. Soul Burn will kill him this turn. I would kind of like... Well, I can't get it. I'm trying to think what I want to do. Um, do this. Applies the soul burn to him. Let's searing wound to. Well, I think I want the soul burn to go off. So I think what I'll do is I will strike you, float. Oh, rain of embers, but I think I'd rather defend. Defend. And yeah. Because his soul burn will go off and it'll, it'll distribute it back to him. Which is what I wanted. Oh. Hi, not funness. Okay, I won't be able to play a power, so we're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're gonna hit him. We are taking some damage here. I can't kill him. Weakness would have been very nice, but it is what it is. Ow. Okay. Step through, hit you. Incineration, you're dead. In turn. Okay. Radiant flame. Whenever you ignite, it goes to apply three soul burn to a random enemy. Five soul burn. Okay. I'm actually okay with that. That kind of fits right in with what we're doing. Okay. Fight Arena Tramps, gain many rewards. Fight Captive Hero, gain many rewards. I think we'll do the Arena Champ. Into the massive stadium to fight overflowing audience, slaver cultures, and other denizens of the city. Bring me your best. You boom into the crowd, opening challenge to the other champions. Two challenges approach, warning you that the rules of the arena prevent, you, prevent them from holding back despite your position as Lord of the Spire. You would assume nothing less. All right, this is going to be a fun one. Uh, we're going for the Gremlin Knob, definitely. Because he's going to be a problem. I'm also going to go ahead and do that. All right, Slaver's just going to hit constantly. Gremlin Knob is going to be a major problem. 
Oh, the weakness would be so good. Actually, this is going to be really good for damage across all of them and the weakness of vulnerability. Additionally, energy potion, searing wounds. There's a lot. Oh, I can almost kill you. It might be worth stretching for lethal. Um, uh, ethereal cards. They cost zero for the turn. I just need damage. Damage. Cost zero. Um, Diva form could just help me just win the fight. I'll take some damage here, but okay. Ah, so he's dead. Don't have to worry about him. Um, I'm trying to think how I want to do this. Tag. Defend here. Yep, they're dead. Uh, incineration, you're dead. Cool. Mango, crystal statue, pretty good. I like both those. The max HP was really nice because our HP is looking a little worse for wear. Um, no, I don't need Sword of Night. Uh, I think since we have the ma got the mango and got the max HP, what's our path look like? Um, we could have an option of another rest, but I feel like I need it. So let's go ahead and smith here. I want Radiant Flame upgrade, which I haven't actually got yet, but will be good. Uh, broad Scales. Uh, three Thorns, pretty good. I like it. Uh, very good against the Shopkeeper, who hits us for multiple times. All right, I really need, want... Well, need and want to keep um, my statue here. So I want to try to defend as much as I can next turn. Okay. I could not advance, unfortunately. But we, we're dealing damage to him. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and float to defend. Cut play. We'll take three here, but that I'm kind of okay with. First seal. And we're up to 18, we actually take nothing. And he's gonna take a bunch from the the bronze scales. So. Um Living Bomb. Strike Searing Wounds is pretty good here. And we'll just play out play out everything else. Alright, we're got him down to 200. He he's a hard one to kill. Oh, this is gonna be really good. Um so eight five times, but we won't get to use this. He'll leave though before he get to do it, unfortunately. Oh, but it is 40 damage. You can't get any. I wish I could save 1 HP. So is it better to do this and get the 12? So that'd be... Uh, let's float and draw a card. Heat metal. 10 more damage. Plus 8 here. I think we'll do more than the soul burn. Because this would be... Well, no, that'd be 40 damage. No, I think this is still the best. Unfortunately. Oh, and then we activated the um, the Hellfire, which I didn't realize. Okay. Unfortunately, we can't benefit from the uh, Soul Burn, but it's fine. We got a pretty good amount of damage in. Okay. So draw one card for each, ignite Ghost Lane, then extinguish them. No, I don't think I want that. Okay. Another Radiant Flame could be good. Uh, ghost Shield, Ghost Slash. Uh, I don't think any of these are what we want. I have been reading these, which I should be doing. Champ, or, oh, the Champ was who I was talking about last episode, I think. I'm thinking about it. Remove all debuffs, gain one strength. If you're below half HP, gain two strength. Eh, not necessary for us. Cauldron and Pole. Eh, I think Radiant Flame and another Incineration could be good. This helps us do like succeed, succeed in long-term fights. Or this and a card removal, actually. I like that better. Let's remove a basic strike. We have a lot of attacks. Like that idea better. Jags, transform two cards. Uh, fight, take everything. I don't really want Jags. The transform two cards is just interesting. But I kind of want to take everything. Just because I want to try this fight out. I've had Devil's Grand strikes up to you. Oh my, what a terrifying subject. Uh, you may not care for science, but I promise you I can make you stronger uh, than harvesting for souls. You're going to need it if you're going after one of those heroes. What do you say? I'm fighting you because I, I don't think I'd have another chance. 21 damage off the bat. Harsh. Okay, but pretty good starting hand. Um, 
Actually, it's not as good as I thought it would be. Go ahead and step through. Gain that block. I'm oh, 21. You're doing a lot to me. Panic button. Hmm. I like it. Let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll see her. And strike. Because we're, we're, we're going just to so hopefully get some more, we, like, more draw cards. What just happened? Why did we exhaust cards? We exhausted the living bomb for no reason. I don't know what he did to us. We can't get about Transfer and tune draw cards. Oh, I guess that's just what he did to us. Weird move. Okay. Don't really like it, though. But we can do a lot of damage here. And we gain block from just igniting our ghost flames. So, kind of okay with that. First seal. Knife that one. Put more ghost flames on him. Ooh, 49 damage here. Fire starter here. Let's go ahead and searing wounds. Oh, he's dead. That wasn't bad. Actually, I think we healed off of that. Um, use the next strength. Awesome. Found Jax. Ah, uh, we might as well take it. Uh, add a card to your deck. Yep, fire starter. Transform. Basic strike. Confirm. And then basic defend. Confirm. And we got... Thermal transfer, deal same damage. If you have soul blur, gain five block. Perfectly fine. Advance, uh, advancing guard, perfectly fine. Actually better than the two we put in. So that was worth it. Um, I'm kind of okay with another upgrade here. I think Radiant Flame I kind of want upgraded. What else would it? Step through could also be really, no. 11 for one. Does this get more block? It does. I think I'll do thermal transfer. Because I think they will almost always have soul burn. All right. Hello, hello. Oh, this is a weird, weird hand. Okay. Um, fire starter, fire starter. Float to the next one. Advancing guard, defend. And then we will strike. Mm, yeah. Puts him on the ground. Puts him on a short clock. Because I think by the time he tries to get back up, it will be kind of over for them. Yeah, he's already dead. Okay, the uh, stall flame is trying to go right now. I think we can actually maybe kill them. Incineration. Uh, searing wound, and you're done. We, we're starting to pick up. We The ball is definitely rolling in our favor. Go shield? I don't think so. Okay, let's go for this elite fight here. Okay, Jax, might as well. Fire starter. Searing wound. Unfortunately, we can't play two attacks. But that's fine. Alright, and we've got to remember our crystal statue. We want to try to keep going. Um, incineration. Step through to go to the next one. We only have one. Should have played the attack, but that's fine. Okay. Thermal transfer, I think definitely. Living bomb would be really good. Uh, we can play everything if we actually want to. Got enough block here, radiant flame, first seal. I think we could really use one more power, if I'm correct, just to make it easier to activate um, the power ghost flame. Uh, the strength potion be gone. Let's get the fire potion. Hexagard. Eh, I don't think I need it. Or Hexagard. Elite tier. Ooh, slavers. They hit very hard. And this is not a very good hand, to be honest. Yeah, we have no block. Okay, let's go ahead and use the armor's tincture. Let's go ahead and play uh, fire starter. Attack. That's good. And then we will go ahead and sear. First seal. Sharing wounds. That gives us enough block to feel okay. We're still gonna take a lot here. Ouch. And we'll go ahead. Fire po I should have fire potion last turn, honestly. That would have made more sense. Go ahead and thermal transfer on you. Defend, defend, get that damage out. Um, 27. Okay. Uh, six and silver, that's fine. Okay, we need two attacks. Let's go ahead and, oh well, we, mm, 
this one advances, so we want to play two attacks first if we can. We can't. So, Radiant Flame, Living Bomb, Advancing Guard, Advance, Defend, Reign of Embers, you're dead. Oh, they're both dead because of the way that works. Ooh, Fossilized Helix, uh, that is one buffer each turn, which helps save our Crystal Statue. Has Soulburn detonate it? There we go, that's the kind of thing we wanted. Instant detonation of Soulburn. Very useful. Um, this turn is kind of bad. Uh, incineration really helps. Okay, then we can do Searing Wound to go ahead and get that 16 damage, but then we also do Phantom Fireball and it detonates it again. That was a really good turn. Enfeebling Spores, I'm fine with. I think we can kill him here. Reign of Embers. And we healed some in Tropic Brew. Very good. Um, Stoke the Fires. No, we're good. All right. Ooh, Cultus here. We don't have the Cultus statue, so I didn't get, we didn't get to see what that did. Um, Living Bombs, pretty good here. Thermal Transfer. Fire Starter. Um, float into the next one. And then Incineration is pretty good. And we'll do one of these. All right, we really want to see how well we can block. Um, I'm trying to think of what order I want to do this. Step through. Pretty good. Um, you're on eight. You're going to die when I searing wounds. Can I also kill this one is the question. Uh, uh, after soul burn detonates, add more soul burn. You're at 17. I need to deal, ah, uh, yes, we can actually. Hit you, hit you, searing wounds kills both of those two. And then apply some soul burn back. All right. And then heal this advancing guard. Advances. No damage, but at the same time, we progressed some of our stuff. Uh, I think this will just kill you. Yep. Go slash, not necessary. We've kept this deck relatively small compared to how I would normally build decks. Only 21 cards isn't bad. Okay, this is gonna be an interesting one. Heat metal. Ugh, this is a bad turn. Uh, I'm thinking, do I wanna draw more cards? Or just settle with like, I guess this is a pretty good amount of damage to start with. Add more silver. And I guess we do progress our, our uh, our uh, Inferno a little bit. More defensive stuff. Weird. I think I just want to go ahead with a big Reign of Embers. Because they're doing no attack, yeah. It's a lot of damage. It's a lot of Soul Burn. So they're at 31. So I'll take 31 here. Man, they're weakening the crap out of us too. Alright, they got a Ragnarok coming next turn, so. Um, Radiant Flame. Go ahead and apply a bunch of, well... Fire start. Yeah, we're gonna play all these, so it doesn't matter. And then defend. Alright, we got 12. They're doing 13, so we'll take one. That's not too bad. But they have the Ragnarok this turn is gonna suck, I think, though. Oh, it, it resets. They're playing the through violence, so 30. But we'll gain that strength here. Does this. I don't think I really wanna play the Jax. Okay, I want to play two attacks first. Strike. Thermal transfer. I want to float into a defend. That's fine. Not enough though. Not nearly. Soul burn. So twenty. Uh, we'll be we'll be losing our statue. Kind of okay with it. Okay. The jacks does not hurt that. I could see if I can get a block potion. We'll try it. We did not. That's fine though. So broken statue is what it is though. Um, this is just a great turn just to, well, actually, incinerate. I think I can do more damage with this in the fireball. Jax again. Incinerate will do a bunch of soul burn, then we'll detonate it. Well, actually I'm going to do this. Because only for the fact that I think we could kill them if we draw the right cards this turn. Uh, living Bomb. 
Fire starter, heat metal, very close. Strike and then defend. Okay, we definitely got this. We're going to be able to get through. I want to advance and guard to get past that one. Float, we'll float past that. Searing wounds for the kill. Okay, attack potion, I don't think it's necessary. Hex level. I don't think we need it. I think it'd be a kind of a dead card in our hand. Like we could play it out, but it's, I don't think it's necessary. And honestly, I think I'd rather have the attack potion rather than the flex potion. This could help us close out a fight maybe, um, where we, so we take a little less damage maybe. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, raise the ascension by five. Sure, let's do that. Could give us some more elites to fight, so I'm thinking. And it's the last, like the last uh, floor, so not too worried. Still didn't do that much. There's a three elite path, but the path itself isn't very good. Cause I could go here, three question marks. There's a lot of question marks and a bunch of rests. Two here. Problem is, da, 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 elite, here, here, here. I think that's it, because I do want to hit the shop and try to kill the shopkeep. Smith, um, Phantom Fireball, I think. Uh, well, hmm, seven's pretty good. The Fire Stars, I think, are better, though. This gets five more. Actually, that's pretty good. Let's do Seer. Because the Soul Board, honestly, is better than the um, the actual damage. So, uh, oh, this kind of stinks. Uh, first Seal, Fire Starter. Thermal to get the defend, and we progress the flame, getting more damage. This, and then we'll do that. Still gonna take, the, well, no, we got the buffer here, so we should be fine. It's actually lost our crystal statue, but it's hard to hold it, really. All right, I want, yeah, to d deal damage to all of them. I think this will win, kill them all, depending on how it does. It did not do it in the way I thought it would. Um, well, farts. Attack potion. <laughs> uh, four damage. Detonate it. Uh, I think this is what I want. Do that. Detonates on all of them. Still not enough damage overall. We're still going to take a bunch. Unfortunate. I was thinking it would detonate and apply it and be enough to kill those two, but alas, I was mistaken. Okay. You should die. That's good. Um, well, I really want targeted damage. Uh, step through would be good. And then, I guess in this incineration, hope it kills them. Kill the wrong one, of course. Uh, that sinks. We're going to take another eight. Uh, well, two damage, but he's going to come back. So this one's dead now, but it doesn't really help us. Um, one attack, so strike here. Float to the next one. Oh, that sucks. Um, it has no soul. Well, it has nine, so it'd be 18 damage. So it'd be two off. Let's go ahead and Radiant Flame Action. Of course, it puts it on the wrong one again. Uh, 10, and yeah, it's just not enough. Uh, advancing Guard. Let's go to the lock. Fireball. Yep, one dead. One left. So that means he's going to come back. This one's dead. This one's dead next turn. Well, he. Oh, no, he kills himself on the hit because of the uh, bronze scales. I'm okay with that. Four seal. An additional port potion reward. I don't think we're doing seals this time. We're not going to get them all. We're going to advance, search the treasury for a relic. Or hunt down the merchant. Huh. Well, I think we should hunt down the merchant. That way we have two shops. I think this will be better. Just in case we don't kill them in one. It's like an optimistic, like, just in case. Thermal and then advancing guard to the next one. I think we can kill in one, but I'm not 100% sure. Ah, uh, fire starter, searing wound. We still have three here. We'll still weaken him. Yeah, I like that. And we have the buffer to block some of this. And then jaxed. Sure. Oh, we jaxed took away our buffer. Whoops. That kind of sucks. Again, he hurts himself. That did hurt us a lot, though. I will admit. Um, fire starter, radiant, heat metal, first seal, fireball. Oh, he's down to nine. 
Okay, so we do get them this time, so we'll have two shops and we'll get a bunch of stuff right here. Like a bunch of souls. 350, I think. 345. Pretty close. Spectral well, not necessary. Alright. Let's see here and now. Oh, and start a turn with the same ghost flame again to strength. No, no, sorry. Another searing wounds would be really good. Uh, increase. 20 damage is increased by enemy soul burn. That's interesting. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't. I, like, these two seem good. Searing wounds seems just better overall. I think I'll do that. I think I will not get anything else and wait to the next shop. Yeah, I know it's a little little weird. Uh, definitely get the, the relic. All right, into the fight we go. Let's see, okay. This is fine. We don't have a lot of block, but we're gonna be playing two attacks. This will actually give us a block. So what we're gonna do is fire starter. Oh, not fire starter, uh, immolation. Well, we could play no, we won't get off the next one anyway. Yes, we're going to gain that block. We're going to 15 block now. Buffer will buffer one of them, so we're not going to take any damage here. Go to the next one, draw a card. Phantom Fireball. Can I, I can't kill them, and I'd rather leave the Soul Burn on them right now. So we'll do a normal strike. Alright, some burns here. Taking no damage yet. Okay. Um... Hmm. This isn't really the ones I wanted. Uh, do I have two skills? I do. So, but we can't do it the right way. Because I want to defend, advance, and guard. Oh, it does do it the right way, the way I wanted it to. Oh, we're going to play through everything anyway. And then fire starter, one of you. Heat metal, the other. And then radiant flame. Radiant flame technically should have been first. Um, in the technical sense. So they, so if we do, yep, Searing Wounds, that does that. We're going to Radiant Flame, we'll block, and then Rain of Embers, they're dead. Oh, you're not dead, unfortunately. I thought you would be. Ooh, gross. Um, first seal though, kind of nice to get. And then 12 damage here, we got him. And then we'll heal back seven. Ooh, Gambling Chip at the start of each combat, discarding number cards and draw that many. Really good, helps you set up your opening hand a lot better. Uh, backtrack smack, I don't need. And then we wanted another chance at a shop here. See if we find something. Study this fire. Add a random colorless boss card to your hand. At the start of the next three turns, they cost zero. This is awesome. That's actually a really good card. Um, first thing, we don't need another incineration. Everything's... Oh, we don't have the rat. That was uh, last time. Um, that's pretty good. Aquabeco's not great. I think Study the Spire would be really good. I wish, and it's another power, which we kind of need. Um, Nightmare Vision. Uh, put a tear card from your theory pile back into your hand. Not Incineration would be good. Captain's Will would be really good. Because that we don't have Foreign Cleave like we did last time. But I think Study the Spire, I think these two are the ones I want. And I think I have just enough. And then maybe this if we have enough. Captain's Wheel first. Study the Spire. And we don't. We're $2 off. Um, another Rain of Embers isn't bad. But I think the one is enough currently. I think that's a good, good investment. Because we can throw away a bunch. So when we get this. Um, Searing Wound we don't need yet. Step three. Well we got two attacks. So yes. Confirm those two. Draw two. Radiant Flames. Really good. Uh, fire starter. Heat metal. Uh, okay. And then step through. Good. We're going to take a little bit of damage here. Take 11. First seal. Pretty nice. Jaxed. Pretty good. Do this. All right. I want to float. Get my block. Another defend. Another strike. Um, 24, you're dead either way. I wish I could get some damage onto you. So this bar is not great right now. You have no soul burn, which is unfortunate. Uh, I'm trying to think of the way to do this. 
Phantom Fireball. Gets you dead. Put some Soul Burn on him. Uh, I need a block more. We have plenty of block, actually, because of the Captain's Wheel. I could just... Yeah, study the Spire. Study Time Eater. Time Eater card. Okay, so I picked one boss at the start of your next turn to give you. Interesting. And then I guess just defend more. We could play Radiant Flame, but I don't think it'll come into like be necessary. Manipulate time. Trigger all effects that happen at the start of your turn. Interesting. Okay, do that. Let's do this. Oh, oh, we got another. We got another time eater card. Um, gain two strength for every twelfth card you play. Sure, but that's a power. Can I play? Can I only play one card a turn? I guess you can only play one of the boss cards per turn. Does it say that? Yeah, you may only play one per turn. That's fine, though. Uh, advance and guard. Let's go ahead and advance. Two attacks. So one attack here. Ow. Uh, and actually, let's see if we can kill him. Without taking any damage. And we did. So we healed up seven. Devil's Dance. The first time you... Retract? No. <laughs> we do not retract at all. I don't think we have any. Um, Nunjaku, every 10 attacks, gain 1 energy. Pretty good. Extra energy is always very nice. Wait here. Ugh, you're not going to be that fun. Um, first strike, defend. First seal we could do later. Uh, I'd rather have to study this fire. I think it could be good. Living. Didn't need to fix all that. Next time. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Because we're going to apply most of our soul burn to her. Unfortunately, I don't think we are going to. Yeah, we're not going to be able to play all of it. I'd rather do that. So we're going to take nine here. Okay. Because, yeah, if I stack the soul burn on her, it's not. It's going to be pretty good, actually. Um. On your next turn, gain 21 blocks and 2 strength exhaust. That's fine. Okay, I need to do one more attack. And then we will do float. Um, I think we'd rather do searing wound. Might kill some of them. Actually, searing wound. Advancing guard. Does some more damage out. You're doing 25 damage, which sucks because I can't kill you. I could kill you, actually. I should kill you. Because I think if I don't get the pick... Are we dead? I don't think so, but I think we're down to, like, one. Down to, down to five. 39 block this turn, though. Okay. Well, we should do Guardian Whirl. Kill a bunch of them. Thermal transfer... Yeah. Thermal transfer... Searing Wound, Radiant here, Searing Wound, and then the basic defend. Yeah, this went not very great for us. And then Random Ember should kill you. Uh, sneaky Teak Wood Match. I think this is for the YouTuber Sneaky Teak, I'm pretty sure. Um, not 100% because I don't think I watch him, but... Um, I think that's correct. I think he might work, like, do stuff with Rhapsody and Rito and them. Uh, let's start your first turn at night and activate Ghost Flame in advance. Okay, so it's like a free activation. It's pretty good. Stoke the fire, don't need. Um, what was the goal here? Here, and I think we were going to go down this way was better. We could do a rest. Question mark. We, we'll get, like, one less question mark, but we get an, an additional... Additional rest, two rests? No, 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 one additional rest. And the elite. Let's do that. We'll go here. Oh, uh, cancel. I want to rest. We'll go ahead and rest. Just in case. Go into this. Obtain the runic icosahedron. Okay. Go into here. Hello, peoples. Um, defend, defend, defend. Uh, searing wounds. That's fine. Okay, first seal we could play here. Um, okay, so we want to do two defense first, which is actually a little harder for us. I think what I'm going to do is just Reign of Embers, everyone. Oh, this is actually going to hurt us a lot. 
That could have hurt us a lot, actually. That was a dumb move on my part. Okay, so we're still going to take six, which kind of stinks. Five vulnerability. We're taking ten now. Dumb runic icosahedron. Ow. Okay, oh, this is a bad turn. Um. Well, hmm. Hmm. We're going to die if we're not careful. Um, actually, I don't know if I can prevent our death. Because it'd be two random enemies. Don't play this. Um, Sphere Guardian, do that. I can detonate the Soul Burn, so I can actually kill you if I do this right. Fire Starter. Phantom Fireball on you. We gain the six. Oh, you're not dead. You have one stinking HP. That really hurts. Okay, let me see. 10 will bring us down to 12. Yeah, I think we're done. Cause I could do this, but I think it's gonna kill us if we do it, yep. Unless it killed him, we were done. Boom, defeated. We were so close too. We were literally, what? Four spaces from the end. And we were, I thought we were doing very well. New unlock, okay. Gift from Beyond uh, goes to the ethereal build. Unplayable, afterlife. Whenever an ethereal card is exhausted, draw one card. Next turn. Uh, Power from Beyond, unplayable. Ethereal afterlife, game one, draw one card next turn. And Flames from Beyond, ethereal afterlife. Apply 12 soul burn to all enemies at the start of your next turn. So all these, pretty good. They go for, all for the ethereal build with afterlife. Um, soul burn, generically good, generically good. Darn, dang darn. All right, guys, but that is going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you can hit that like button or subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.